Physics and Biology DC. I am Mr. Wilson from the P Academy. You can find us online at dcp-academy.com. You may also find us on YouTube at CSET Biology DCP. Today I'm going to be looking at the 2019 Agriculture Science Multiple Choice Paper. Now, this is going to be a test video. I ran through this. I don't even know if this is the right one that I did. But if you find a problem, just leave it in the comments. That means I will not be doing the entire paper for this run. Now, if you have not yet, please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. And when you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell and say all. So you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Be reminded to like the video so it will be added to your playlist that if this video were to be turned off, you'd still have access to it. Share the video so more of this video will come to your inbox. We also want you to leave us a comment. Tell us which island you're listening to us from. And of course, if possible, which school you attend. Without further ado, let's just hop right into question number one. A farmer who does not use pesticide or chemical fertilizer is most likely practicing organic farming. Organic farming is pretty much a sustainable agricultural practice in which we seek to protect the environment and to have food produced without these artificial additives. Number two, biodiversity refers to, sees our answer here, different species of organisms and the variety of habitat in which they live. So we talk about diversity here, we are talking about differences. We talk about bio, we are talking about life. So the differences that pretty much exist there between organisms, or one might say, which institution has the following objectives? To facilitate trade between countries, to develop a common trade policy, to act as a bargaining body when negotiating with outside forces. That's going to be the Caribbean community party. Our answer here is A. Number four. An agronomist is a person who specializes in the study of the growth and management of crops. Moving on to question number five. Which of the following country into agriculture is remedied to a large extent by farmer? Land tenure. Sees our answer there. Which of the following is not considered a factor of Factor of production, land, capital, labor, entrepreneur. So marketing is going to be the outcome. The growing of crops in a liquid nutrient medium is known as hydrophonics, or if you had aquaculture. So it's hydrophonics here. Item 8 refers to the following table which shows the demand, supply, and price of tomato in a country. We have quantity demand, quantity supplied, and the price. Based on the information in the table, the equilibrium price of tomato is it's going to be $2. If you realize here, this is where supply and demand intersect. So the quantity are supplied versus the market demand making it $2 here. Nine, legumes are especially important in organic crop farming because they promote nitrogen fixing. It's going to be straight to the D, so it's going to be here. Number nine. Number 10, which of the following is not a fixed crop? All right, fuel. Everybody can relate to this. Fuel is always, the price is changing. In Jamaica, it changes every Wednesday. Number 11, which of the following can be done to speed up the breakdown of organic matter in a compost heap. Well, what we used to do when we were at college is to so usually have our compost in a very cool area. Um, so the moisture and temperature is very, very important for the fast degradation of these materials. So here, if we add water to the compost when it is dry, this definitely will help to break it down much faster. Moving on to question number 12. So our answer for 11 is going to be B. 
Number 12 refers to the following graph of demand and supply curve. During Lent, people demand more fish than any other meat. This is represented by the shift from D to D1. Because that is pretty much the shift of the demand curve. So you're seeing that there's a greater demand uh, based on Lent. 13, which of the following is a feature of a cooperative? Each member has one vote. A is our answer here. Item 14 refers to the following graph. Our answer for the question from which of a graph above can the equilibrium price of a product be determined? It's going to be C. We're seeing the interception there between the supply and the demand curve. Number 15, which of the following record is designed to give information on the yield of yams? Your production record will tell how much you have produced and how much you have produced is actually your yield. Number 16, which of the following group of requirements is essential for a banker to consider when processing a loan application for a farmer? Collateral, project proposal, credit history. D is going to be our answer. Popular question on paper number two. Number 17, a farmer intends to expand his poultry farm. Which of the following budget will he prepare? Of course, that's going to be a partial budget. That's number 17, A's answer. He would have already had a budget. So he's also going to make amends to that budget to pretty much speak the loan. Item 18 to 19 refers to the following economic terms, net profit, gross margin, fixed expenses, gross farm income. Match each item below with one of the options above. An option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So total income is going to be your gross farm income. Number 19, total income minus total expense is going to be your net profit. So the letters beside them indicating the response. Item 20 refers to the following information. The yield and average price per kilogram of four crops are given in the table below. Based on gross returns alone, which is the most profitable crop for the farmer we're looking at gross return alone, $3.50 per AG. That's going to be cauliflower, so our answer here is going to be D, cauliflower. Moving right along. 21. A soil sample was collected from a school farm and found to be very high in hydrogen ions. This indicates that this soil most likely is acidic. Because hydrogen ion there uh, usually represent uh, your acids. You'll remember HCl, right? It's a monobasic acid, or you have uh, hydrochloric acid and H2SO4, that is. So that's a dibasic acid. So the H plus there is usually acid. A, a bag of mixed fertilizer is labeled 7, 14, 21. That is NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in the fertilizer? So nitrogen is going to be 7. Phosphorus is going to be 14. So 7 to itself, 1 times 7 to 14 goes 2 times. So the ratio here is going to be 1 to 2, which makes the answer A for 20. Uh, 23. Which of the following is not a physical property of soil? pH is going to be, pH is a chemical property. Texture is going to be physical, a structure. And of course, capillarity is going to be determined by the physical structure of the soil. So of course, pH is going to be answer here. 24. Farmer Zara observed a premature falling of buds in her tomato crop. Which of a following fertilizer would most likely correct this problem? 
dash, new rate of protest, see if our answer here. Nora is going to give us the sulfur of, of ammonia, pretty much for your color loads and so on. All right, this takes us to the end of the first 24 questions. Uh, you will have to follow in the series. The, the others are going to be answered, so you want to click and follow on that playlist. Now, at the end of this video, you are going to be seeing some links to other agricultural video, biology, and human and social biology. Remember, there's no time to heal. So instead, like, share, and of course, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified when there's a new publication. You want to also like the video so it'll be added to your playlist. So if this video were to be turned off, you'll have a copy in your playlist. You want to share it some more videos will come to your inbox. Tell us in the comment, where are you listening or watching from? If possible, which school are you attending? We wish you all the best in your exams. And remember, study, show thyself.